Today I'm at Legoland Windsor for the opening day of Minifigure Speedway. Not one, but two brand new roller coasters. Flanked by the world's largest minifigure, Roxy, these two new Ziera Boomerang coasters represent a big investment for Legoland. And I'll be riding both and giving my honest thoughts on this exciting new attraction. I'll also receive vlogging advice from Coaster Crazy, yet still go on to film a bunch of stuff in the wrong mode. So let's drop into Legoland and the opening day of Minifigure Speedway. So I'm here inside the park now, the queue is growing. So we have the first tests of Minifigure Speedway. Here we go. Wait, no, it was Teddy. And the queue line is moving. So while a lot of the ride area looks nice, I'm not too sure about this sort of mint green corrugated iron queue line. It's not the most attractive. Bit of queue line detail on Roxy Racer here. Apparently she has a pet greyhound called Speedy. Fact. And along here we have the team. So the two team colours, variety of team captains. Are you a shooting star or a lightning bolt? This seems far too complicated. Wacky and silly. I think I'm gonna go with the dragon. Bold and daring. So just been batched into our queue. Uh, you don't get to choose which side you race, at least not on opening day anyway. So maybe that's something they'll open up in the future. So they have a spinny wheel thing here where they select who your team captain is. I'm hoping for a B. Who's our captain, Ron Baited Boy? Oh, Mean Dragon Costume Guy, that'll do. Dragon. This is all funky, isn't it? So you walk past the track here and into the station. So minifigure speedway was actually really good and surprisingly forceful in some areas on those bends up there going backwards there was almost like a mini gray out and i'm riding it and thinking what's going on this is a kids coaster this doesn't make any sense but those bends pull some forces so that's really good it's a lot better than i was expecting i'm being pointed at by um andy from coaster crazy we're doing we're doing um, vlog on vlog vlog it's your first is it your first vlog on vlog that's my first vlog on vlog. First vlog on vlog, hello I'm here. Yeah, we got he Andy got off screen. From... No, I don't use that. You need it, you know what you need. What's that? The DJI mate. No, I, I don't use the screen because uh, it just annoys me and I get distracted by my own beautiful <laughs> features. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. What do you think Andy? I what loved think it mate, yeah. I saw you got to turn it off then, but no, it's awesome. Really good coaster, great for the park. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite intense going backwards. Yep. It, there's a few spots that still need to finish. But for what it is, where it's at, I think it's a great addition for the park. Two brand new coasters, not just the one. Great three puts. I hope it does well for them. Yeah, fingers crossed. I think. Go uh, and subscribe. If you're watching this now and you're not subscribed to Paul and this man, go and subscribe. He does, I think, better editing than what I do. 
Oh, that's, a, that's my that's my prior production knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you need to hold your uh, camera up a little higher. I know. And, yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> Getting used to the vlogging stuff. He's it, still learning. <laughs> But no, I think that's a really good addition to Legoland. I think it's the best coaster here, actually. I'll take that over the dragon. So back in the queue line for Mini Flicker Speedway for part two. Hopefully getting on the legend side this time, but I don't think we can select. So let's find out. So we've got legend side, so we get to ride the blue coaster this time. So a second ride there on minifigure speedway managed to get on the legend side that time and that is a really impressive family boomerang coaster it's way more forceful than it has any right to be like going backwards there are two moments both on helixes where it does feel like you may have a little gray out moment it's bizarre to feel those kind of forces on what is a coaster aimed at, at quite young guests so i'm really impressed with that i think that's much better than it has any right to be the theming's decent yeah well done Legoland. So overall, I'm really impressed with Minifigure Speedway. It is, of course, a family attraction, but it seems to be pulling more forces than a family attraction usually does. It's eating up the queues. I mean, it started today at like 90 minutes, but it's come down to like 35 throughout the day. So it's certainly munching through them okay. And crucially, it seems to be getting really good feedback from all riders. There's a lot of um, sort of high up people from Merlin and VIPs from Legoland here. All of them seem to be really happy with how today's gone. So yeah, I think this has been a pretty successful opening day. I think Minifigure Speedway is a really good addition for Lego and it's exactly what they need. I mean, having two new coasters that are arguably better than any of the other roller coasters here and they can both eat up some queues and they're in quite an interesting area of the park. So all good. <laughs> So that's all for my day here at Legoland Windsor for the opening of Minifigure Speedway. A really, really good addition to the park, way more forceful than it probably should be, and I think comfortably the best roller coaster here. I just had a ride on the Dragon actually to confirm that, and I do think Minifigure Speedway, both sides, because they're basically mirror images, are both superior to the Dragon. So well worth coming down to check it out. I'm glad I came down here for the opening day. So let me know what you think of Minifigure Speedway down in the comments. And you may have noticed there was a slightly minor other roller coaster called Nemesis that reopened a couple of weeks ago. And you can watch my opening day vlog from that up on the screen now. Take it easy, catch you next time.